This is what it's come to. The desperate wait for gas, the frustration that there isn't any left. A shortage so acute that lineups stretch all over Beirut. This taxi driver has been waiting an hour. When he finally gets to fill up, there's only resignation in his voice. We don't deserve this humiliation, he says. Lebanon is heaving under a crippling economic crisis that worsens by the day. And the anger on the streets is compounded by the fact the pain is of the country's own making. A political system rife with corruption, paralyzed by sectarian divisions. The political elite can't agree on a new government, nor will it submit to any reforms to get foreign aid in to help. And so the World Bank is warning this financial collapse could be one of the worst in modern history. Made even worse by the deadly explosion that ripped through Beirut's port last year, the Lebanese pound has lost 90 percent of its value and it's still falling. In a country that imports almost everything, that means common medication is now too expensive to keep these shelves stocked. Bonjour. Pharmacists forced to tell customers they're all out. Hopefully I'll get it next week, he says, but hope is hard to come by. What's more difficult is the problem that we can't do anything. It's something that's not in our hands. Sometimes we are obliged to sell by sachets or by, by only a few tablets, let's say so that we give, give to many people as we can. That frustration also clings to the interactions at this hospital, tainting every moment for staff fighting back a pandemic. It's kind of become part of the job where you just have to turn people down. And even if they're admitted, you're not sure if you can find the, the, the medications they're going to need. So that's pretty stressful. Pamela Fransawi can't take it anymore and is ready to leave for Canada. And everyone she knows wants to get out too. You just feel like you're working and you're putting in all that effort and it's all for really nothing. Why stay, she says, when the money you make is worth less every day and there's even less hope that the pain will end anytime soon. Salima Shivji, CBC News, London.